Oh. I just ran around everywhere looking and it just counted the achievement. I did it. Welcome, my friends. So glad you could join me. My name is Wonka, and today we're going to be playing Farmer's Dynasty. If you guys are still enjoying and you want to see more because updates are coming and there's some good ones coming up. So if you want to see those, do me a favor, tickle that like button, leave me a comment down below. As always, if you're new here or you haven't already, be sure to punch your golden ticket by hitting that subscribe button. And after that mouthful of an intro, we're just going to hop right in. I hope you guys enjoy and I think you will. All right, I'm mad about it, but um, I fixed my mistake. Basically, I loaded an old save, replowed those fields, or that one field, and then, yeah, now now here we are. So, so far, we've made 7,211 euros, which is about 2,300 more off of the first load. This is the second load, obviously not a full load. This one's only 76%, uh, but let's dump it in. I don't like that this thing starts moving as it's going up, but uh, there we go, now it's stopped. Last time it tried to slide sideways off of the thing, it was terrifying. So there we go, almost 9,000 euros. So close to a new piece of equipment, or new land. Now part of me really wants to save up for the truck. Faster transportation around town. However, I don't know if the truck can actually hook up to anything, so we probably can't bring, like, grains and stuff anywhere. Or hay, or anything, really. But we can get the building materials, which will help us build the house, so I don't know. I don't really know what to do. Part of me wants to get the field to set myself up for later, because then we'll have more fields and more money. But another part of me says, screw it. Let's just, um, get the truck because truck. Just as an added bonus, I thought we'd see how much he buys milk for. Not bad, actually. Much better than the eggs. However, the eggs might be good in, like, large quantities. But he won't buy large quantities. But if I save up enough, I could sell, like, 20 a day, probably, or something to him. He pays good money for the milk, though. Let's do it. I'm living off the eggs. Let's sell the milk. Decent little bit of change, you know? Not much, but it's something. Honestly, I think the cow's biggest value is the manure to freely fertilize your field. Another beautiful morning. Welcome, welcome. To back to our rickety old house. But not for long, because today, barring distractions, is the day we finally fix up the old house. Get it. Get it into a condition that we can be proud of. Using as many resources as we can, thanks to one of the new updates. But there has been a new update, just a minor one, regarding the gamepad. So if you look in the bottom left corner of your screen right now, when I switch over to the gamepad, or controller, whatever you want to call it, it shows and I can just switch. I used to have to unplug it when I wanted to switch. As well as the driving is no longer with the analog stick to my knowledge. It is actually right trigger, left trigger as it should be. So we're going to actually switch to it and give it a try. See what happens. Apparently the uh, controls have been changed. So D-pad up will hook us up. We're in the damn barn. <laughs> That's okay. And we're free. So I just decided to take this hay into town sell it because we made some good money i'm just like hungry for money at this point we need to go to the building depot because for some reason every time i load in it resets me to metal and i don't like it it makes me mad so we're just gonna go up here and then we'll go down here sell the hay go home sound like a plan all right so driving now should be much better. I also read that there is apparently wheel support now. Unfortunately, I do not have a wheel yet. But I am very, very interested in looking into a wheel setup. Trying out some racing games, driving games with a wheel for once. That would be wonderful. Alright, girls. Uh, um, our cow is a color-changing cow. 
Um, that uh, especially that that second one. This one I think has been the same color the whole time. This one, however, that we are milking from behind, risking getting kicked in the face. This one is um, sometimes white, sometimes chocolate colored. It's 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 a mystery what kind of milk it's going to produce that day. We just have to find out. Chocolate milk, regular milk. It all depends on its mood. And it's a uh, fur color. That's if you didn't know. That's where chocolate milk comes from, the brown cows. We're gonna have a ton of eggs. I don't know if we need like, cause there's a food storage in our basement. I don't know if we need that or not. But where am I going? Oh, this way. Daily chores are done. Let's head out for some fun. We're a rhyming farmer, a lady charmer, and. Uh, I don't got anything else. That's that's it for now. Tune in later for the rest of the poem. The controller's feeling good now. I like it. I approve. Well done. Quick on the change. And it was much needed. Especially when you're plowing those fields and stuff. It's just nicer to to be able to just analog stick for minor corrections, etc, etc. Versus how it was on the keyboard where every time you hit a key you're like wiggling all over the place so we're gonna start with the wood we'll come back as we need more materials also there's a nice convenient way to change between all the different options when you're when you're on the controller which I like it was it was a much needed quality of life update and I'm still driving with the analog stick so you can actually do that but there is now a dedicated gas and brake not that you ever really need to brake that hard when you're going 23 kilometers per hour but little do you know I added a turbo just kidding they need to work on their wheel shadows a little bit I don't know what that shadow is doing but I cannot stop watching it there we go, almost 12,000 euros. We are closer to that van than I think we might think. Or at least I think. I think. I think I think. It's melting my brain. Alright, we've made it back. Enjoy the house as it was, because this is the last time you're gonna see it in, in such shambles. First thing we're going to do is fix the roof, because nobody likes to sleep in a soggy, moist bedroom. Can't believe this is happening. I'm so excited. <sighs> it's not going to look great as wood, but I'm, we're, we're going to play with the shingles later. We're just, we're just here to fix everything that's wood, which happens to be the roof. If it does end up replacing it with shingles later, then so be it. I wasted my time. Who cares? Also, we're hungry, so we should probably have breakfast. Breakfast, good enough for me. About seven eggs. I don't, know, I don't know how many eggs I ate, but it was a lot. Takes a lot of eggs to fill this guy up. He's a hungry farmer. Look at that. We have a roof again. Oh, we could have used the metal to repair the, uh, the east troughs. Is that what they're called? I think so. But I think that's all the external wood. I'm pretty sure... Can we fix the windows? No? No no window fixing. It's not allowed. Alright, well, I know that the doors, other than the outside door, obviously, are definitely wood. I don't know what these walls are, or if we can even fix them. They look pretty pretty crummy though. Um I feel like these doors are wood. What what is the door? If not wood. Oh. Oh, instead of concrete plaster stairs we can have nice wood stairs Ooh, ah yes lovely oh we gotta fix the floor in the kitchen of course nobody nobody's getting a wife with a floor like this i'll tell you what that's a bad hardwood job but you know what we'll we'll accept it for now it's you did your best that's that's all that matters the rest of this kitchen is still kind of bummy um kind of unfortunate so what do I use if I fix it? It says repair old wood planks. Okay, nice patch job. Why can't I fix the actual door? I don't get it. This is, this has already been fixed. Apparently that's blocked by scaffold. 
so we can't do that. Can't fix anything else in here with wood, huh? It's kind of weird what you can and can't fix. Oh, fix this. This is this is something that we need to fix for sure. I think this is the children's bedroom. Yes. You can't have the people come in and seeing where their the kids are staying, and then they take the kids. You know what people I'm talking about. You know we don't want them coming around. Let's just. If you don't know who I'm talking about, just just understand that. So what is this? Oh, this is concrete plaster. These walls. I wonder if we can fix it with something else, though. Going to be interesting to see, because certain things, as you saw with the stairs, can be replaced with something new. Uh, we did it before I accidentally had to redo the save. We did it to the uh, well outside. We did a different roof, a wood roof on the well instead of the shingles. We'll see. We'll decide what we want to do. But right now, we're just fixing the floors. Clearly, we need concrete plaster. That stuff is important as hell. Repair with old wood planks. Oh, that looks nicer now. So I think the next most important material is the concrete plaster. So we're going to get some of that. Or the air bricks, I guess. Or the regular bricks. I think these are regular bricks, yeah. So, um, yeah, the tedious part is going to be driving back and forth. Oh, also, while we're here... I figured out we have a second grain storage. We can actually store some here. I just don't know how we get it back after. Is there like a drop inside? Oh. Clever. That's cool. Okay, well, now I know. I'm back with the fresh plaster. But why can't I do it? Maybe I'm supposed to upgrade it to something else. Maybe that's why it won't let me. Cause it'll let me, it'll let me repair it wherever it needs repairing, but it won't let me replace it with new stuff. Why? Well, I'm gonna go around and repair everything that needs to be repaired. Why not? Yeah, like see, that still looks ugly as hell. So it must, it must want to be upgraded. Cause there's no point in putting in new plaster if it's gonna look like a grandma's house. Look at that patch job. What a beauty. This is this is that pantry I was talking about, so we can come down here. Oh, there's actually a burger. What? I wonder how much I could sell this stuff for. How do I make my milk turned into condensed milk? That's what I want to know. So I can, like, throw... Let's throw, uh... 20 eggs in there. So there you go. Now they're stored away for a rainy day. Oh, I'm so hungry for money, I kind of want to sell all this stuff. Let's do it. We're going to do it. We're going to sell it all. I mean, I'm just in a selling mood. I'm living off eggs right now, so screw it. We're going to sell it. I'm hungry for that truck, and I won't rest until I get it. I'm also not going to rest until this house is fixed. I mean, I really wanted to, like, fix it new, and some stuff is letting me, but some is not. So, see, repair old concrete plaster... And I got old concrete plaster, but it, or new concrete plaster. <gasps> Repair air bricks with concrete bl plaster. Ooh, why is it gold? I don't know if I like that, but it does look a little bit better than the uh, air bricks. So maybe each item or whatever has its upgrade. I don't know. Let's repair this. Oh, that's looking better. Oh, never mind. Oh, it does look better, actually. Dang, we got bad foundation? That's 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 not good. But I'm just trying to get the achievement for fixing the house at this point. And whatever I can replace, I will. I mean, now I kind of want to just experiment with what I can and can't use. And where I can use it. Because we're completely changing the look of the house by doing this. And that's, that's kind of cool. Lot of bad foundation. I feel like I should be worried. Maybe I'm lucky the house hasn't fallen down already. Should have repaired this while I, uh, had the wood, damn it. But whatever, we'll repair this old rickety fence for now. We can always go get the wood again, it's not the end of the world. It is, though. I'm mad about it, I'm just trying to make myself feel better. I feel like, uh, it's that one person who had to paint the fence, work on the fence. Is it Tom Sawyer? Huckleberry Finn? Is that... Am I completely wrong on that? Possibly. That's not it. Damn it. 
What else is there? So, uh, this door was saying it was blocked by scaffolding, which clearly it's not, and it was hiding what I'm assuming is not the last piece. God damn it. Ah. Now that is pretty cool. I didn't even know this was up here. What do you even use this for? It's got a cool entrance, though. I tell you that. We definitely needed to find this before. But hey. At least we found it. And we fixed the house. I mean, I honestly kind of just want to finish this achievement. Although I kind of use it to get home most of the time. But I kind of want to go around and see what's, what's left. Because I got most of it. I mean, I can't fix this area, unfortunately, which is kind of depressing and ugly. I mean, all of these places should be fixed. I feel like I've got the achievement for all of these buildings. There's got to be just like something else that's like small. Some small little thing stopping me from getting the achievement. The question is what? Oh, I just ran around everywhere looking and it just counted the achievement. I did it. We now have 63,000 social points. That is not too bad at all. So uh, there you go. The whole, the whole place is fixed. Um, I cannot replace these air bricks. It was just the lower ones on this. What is this, a mud room? Is that what you call it? Oh, oh, okay, good. I can fix that too so it blends in a little bit better. Oops, okay, there's two different things here. Ah, oh, that's good though. I, I was worried it was going to be like super ugly like that, but no, no. This house is going to be purdy when she's all done and upgraded. I mean, I don't know why it's yellow or gold or whatever color this is. But, you know what? We're not going to complain about it. We're going to accept our little house for the beauty that it is. I wish there was a way to know what I can use this for before I go all the way back. I guess that's why you want to have the van, so you can just bring the materials here. Makes your life a hell of a lot easier. I think I've fixed pretty much everything that I can, or upgraded everything I can. On the house, at least. With the concrete plaster. Oh. Oh, I could do a little white line the whole way around. I don't know necessarily why you'd want to do that. But maybe it was yellow at one point, and now it's just gray because it's all weathered and old and, and nasty. Kind of weird, but I bet it matches when we upgrade the brick. I bet you it doesn't look as weird once it's all upgraded. It's just gonna kind of look a little weird right now. <laughs> because, well, it's half upgraded, I guess you could call it. Look at it all tucked up under the roof there. And then I would have drove all the way back, put this material back, and been mad. All right, I think that's all of it. Hungry again, huh? So, um, let's go try and sell this stuff, see how much we get for it. But also, get a new material, because I think I got all of the uh, plaster stuff. The yellow just stands out so much. I guess it's kind of like that. Good to see you. Can hope, I help you? Hope you brought your wallet. 840 per pumpkin thing. Let's see how much he charges. 1824 for tomato soup. He'll give me 1216. That's not bad. Pumpkins give me 2520. How much for the apple? Not worth it. Almost 50 euros for the uh, condensed milk. That's pretty good. 32 for one hamburger and fries. But I'm not going to sell it because I don't even know where you get another hamburger and fries. So for now, I'm going to keep it. Because it seems like a rare commodity to be given away for 32 euros. So we'll hang on to the rest of the stuff. Why not? But now we're actually at 12,000 euros, everybody. 
We're rich. We can actually afford some upgraded equipment. We can't afford the van, but we can afford the upgraded equipment. All right, new bricks. Let's see what we got. Yes, old bricks with new bricks. Gonna look brand spanking new. This is what I like to see. All right, well, this is how we're gonna repair a majority of the bottom of our house here. I don't know how I feel about the yellow. I might look to see if another material can maybe replace that as we go through here. But for now, we're just gonna do this and then I'll see if there's anything else that the bricks can do. If there is, I'll show you. Otherwise, we're gonna go get our next material, which I think we're gonna shingle the roof next. All right, looking good. Let's see if we can do the air bricks up here in brick. No. So is this gonna remain air bricks? That's my question. Let's see if there's anything else we can use bricks for. Probably not. Oh, we can replace. Oh wait, but that's the chimney, I think. Let's, let me just check here. Yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that's where the chimney is. So that's cool. We can actually accent the room with the chimney. We can't repair all of the walls with brick, thankfully, because that would probably get a little much. Now, I don't know where that chimney continues. Oh, here it is. Beautiful. I don't know why there's a chimney. I'm, as far as I know, there's no fireplace. Maybe it's for the heater? I don't know. Ah, we can repair this dirty, grungy old basement too. That's good. I was worried this thing might have just been like, you know, just a dirty, grungy basement no matter what. Thankfully, I was wrong. I didn't check this floor with the uh, concrete plaster. I probably should have checked it, but I didn't. Hopefully it wasn't repairable because it's ugly. I mean, hopefully it was re is repairable, but not with that material, because otherwise I gotta get it again. And I don't like doing things like that. I like to just do it right the first time, which rarely happens, obviously. There we go. It's looking a little better down here. Looking a lot better down here, actually. So I think that's it for the brick. I'm, I'm obviously not 100% sure. Oh, we could repair the old brick of this. Might as well do that. That looks a lot nicer. Um, but I think as far as the house goes, that's it for the brick. Since I'm done with the brick, I guess we could repair this. No, no, no. We're, we're just repairing the house today. I'm not getting sidetracked. Get sidetracked and then it's going to be like a million years long. Let's just quickly uh, repair the eavesdrops here, whatever. Whatever people call these things. Ah, that looks much better. It's the little details, you know. They make or break. Your, your house being sold, all right? And not that we're selling this house, but, um, you know, one day we might not want to be in the farm in life. We could take this free, uh, free piece of land and free buildings that we've been generously given and uh, make some money off them. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, right? Nobody said we had to keep it in the family. Yeah, see, so we can't fix the slide or anything. I assume... We will be able to one of these days, because it's definitely not going to just stay an ugly playground forever. But for now, let's go get some more material. All right, so what do we have left here? We have new ceramic roof, bitumen roof, air bricks. What else is in here? Red metal roof, regular metal roof, and shingles. Oh, so those are like actual shingles. I think the ceramic roof will probably look really good. I'm just wondering what else to buy from this. I kind of want to buy the wood glaze, so I bought the wood glaze. I don't know how many more slots we got left out there, but I'm going to get one more thing. We'll save the other roofs for later. We'll use those on other buildings. Um, but I want to try one of these coats. It says it's for plaster. Maybe you need to do both. I don't know. Let's do finish coat. It sounds fancy. We still have, I think, one slot left. So we'll see. We'll see what else we might might get. But for now, ceramic roof. Let's do it. What you doing lurking in the tall grass, Madison? Huh? Going to the store? 
going to see your lover, John? Probably. What a hussy. Hey, we can replace this ugly bitumen roof with a nice ceramic roof. Look all ritzy ritzy. At least, I think ceramic roof is nice, right? It looks nice. Looks nicer than that ugly bitumen crap. I'll tell you that much. Oh yeah, and we can put it on the roof too. Looks a lot better than the wood. I promise you that. Oh, look at that. Little orange for my liking, but you know, there's only so many options. And the other shingles are orange too. We could have went with a metal roof. Could have looked maybe cool. But I think we should save that for like the barns and stuff. But it is cool that you can choose different materials for certain things, giving you some form of customization. If they add more things in later, give you even more customization. I completely forgot to do the bricks on the top chimney. All right, I'm really hoping this finish and coat stuff or finish coat stuff is for the inside walls because they are ugly and I really want them to be changed. All right, what is this stuff good for? Please say the walls. Damn it. What does it do? I have no idea. All right, we'll go get the air bricks. See if we can do the air bricks. That'll probably be the last thing we get to today. At least we finish most of the outside. I know I forgot the chimney. And there's probably some other things that we might be able to do that I just haven't discovered yet. But hey, for our first run at the house, I think we got quite a bit of it fixed. I mean, the whole house is fixed. So at least there's not going to be like bugs and critters getting inside while we're sleeping. But at the same time, it's not, it's not the purdy house that I was hoping and expecting. But this whole driving back and forth thing is definitely a partial factor of that. How much better does it look? Oh, it looks, it looks quite a bit better. I wish I could repair these air bricks with something else. I'm not a huge fan of the air bricks on my house. But, I mean, new air bricks are better than old air bricks at the end of the day. And I only had time to do one more thing. I could have done the wood glaze, but I still have some wood floors, like in the attic, that I kind of need to fix still, so... I feel like we could save that for the next time. We'll do the interior a bit further in another episode. Also, when I have the materials at hand... <laughs> I don't even flinch falling off the roof anymore. That's how many times I've fallen off. But when I have the materials at hand, it'll be a lot easier for me to just cycle through and trial and error, figure out what does what, what can replace what, what fixes the damn inner walls. I don't know if that's even possible yet, but I would love to fix those. So yeah, basically this is going to wrap up the outside as far as I know. I don't think we can uh, fix the windows. They don't look like they're in too rough of shape anyways. And, um, uh, I mean, I guess we could change the roof. I was kind of hoping we could change the yellow color. But that doesn't look like it's a thing. It's not looking like anything requires air bricks in here. Can't change the bricks to air bricks. Not that I would want to. So I think we're done. I think we're done for now. Until next time, at least. We got a good amount done today. I really like my new stairs. They're beautiful. I don't know why I couldn't fix the doors with wood. Super weird to me. But anyway, that's it folks. If you guys want to see more, do me a favor, tickle that like button, leave me a comment down below. As always, if you're new here or you haven't already, be sure to punch your golden ticket by hitting that subscribe button. And remember, home is where the heart is, or at least where you're most comfortable taking a sh**. hit that like button because if you guys hit the like button for me lots of good things happen okay and we can grow and do giveaways and like subscribe and all that good stuff okay take a easy <laughs>